Hey everybody, this is Strong K, and welcome to another episode of First Impressions. Uh, this time we're going to look at the 39 uh, steps while I uh, skip the intro here. Um, yeah, first of all, uh, as always, thanks for clicking this video, and I, uh, yeah, I think uh, I feel an apology is due because um, I, in fact, have not been uh, posting any videos because, uh, first of all, I had to move house. Uh, so, you know, that's um, kind of keeping me busy, and also I've been uh, sick, as you can probably hear. Of course, you know, one thing has to come with the other, but uh, nevertheless, you know, I try to, like, um, keep posting uh, videos every now and then. I uh, hope to be back, like, to my regu regular schedule of posting, like, uh, a video every, like, uh, two or three days or so. Uh, but be that as it may, um, yeah, today I want to take a look at the 39 steps, which is a, um, a digital adaptation of, uh, oh yeah, there it goes, uh, of John Buchan's espionage thriller. So, um, you know, without further ado, let's just, uh, get into this. It's more or less, you know, uh, like a, um, like a visual novel, you know, like in, uh, you know, if you've played like those games coming mostly from Japan, um, it's actually closer, like the stress is more on the novel part than on the interactive part, uh, but we're gonna discover what, uh, you know, that entails uh, pretty soon. One thing I just want to mention, because we cannot change this, um, we can, it's just like parts of the dialogue are being read out to us, uh, so we can choose to have it, um, you know, being read out in the original text, uh, in the original text without any dialect because parts of the um, of the uh, game are, are taking place for example in Scotland or in London and you meet like Americans also so there's like a certain uh, change of dialects. I have not tried this option yet so I cannot comment on that. Um, there's the option to not have any subtitles there or to have it in uh, Scottish Gaelic I think altogether uh, which I uh, you know do not speak so I barely can like decipher Irish Gaelic so you know there's no chance so let's uh, stick with the original text here for a second and uh, let's continue my game I've played for almost three hours um, and what this all entails I will explain in a second okay so when we continue the story here um, this is actually uh, you know how far I've gotten so uh, my current chapter is a pack of lies um, and those are the chapters that are yet to come, so I have not yet finished the whole thing. Um, one thing I w I'd like to point out before I actually continue with the story, or actually start with the story, is um, the extras, which are, yeah, it's like profile info. You can gather awards. I won't be gathering any awards, I guess, because, uh, you know, I was starting from a point further on in the game that I've already um, finished, so... I guess there won't be any awards here, but you know, as you can see, like this is sort of like um, some achievements that you can unlock here. Um, right. And uh, those are the controls. I'm going to talk about them in a second. Um, oh, you can actually do still change the original text here, like the, the reading options. I mean. Um, right. So what do we do here? Events. Okay. Cards. This is also something that you pick up along the game. I have not really um, discerned yet what that does, but uh, we are Richard Henne in this story. This is the protagonist, and we, you know, quote unquote, play as uh, this guy here. Self made mining engineer is a chivalrous, refined, intelligent. Oh, is, yeah, a distinguished gentleman who was blooded in the Matabele and Boer Wars. Okay, so this guy. Um, you know, has like the background of coming from like the like South Africa, the Cape Colony at the time, and uh, finds himself in London now. You know, in, in the middle of like a espionage <clears throat> story, so to speak. Uh, right. So let's uh, go back to events and let's actually start here with um, chapter I think four in the soup. Um, let's just play this one real quick. Um, because basically, uh, 
you know, this the chapter four chapter four will allow us to um, you know sort of show off all aspects that the game has to offer in terms of like again quote unquote gameplay. You know, the different styles of narration that are, that take place here. Also, this is the part where the plot sort of thickens um, without giving away too much. This is, I mean, the um, the story of the Thirty Nine Steps has been retold many and many times. Basically, the novel is sort of like the um, the archetype of um, of the uh, man on the run sort of theme, you know, like uh, uh, Doctor Kimball, this sort of thing, or uh, you know, something where you don't you have to figure out not your past, but in a way, like, you know, you have to figure out what's going on, you're left in the dark about this. Um, sort of like, I don't know, for those of you who've played Countdown, this type of game, it is actually, um, I found it similar, like, story-wise to this. Not necessarily gameplay-wise, but story-wise. Um, if you don't know, it's like, I think it's even on the Home of the Underdogs, you can download it for free. It's abandoned wear right now. It's a pretty nice so, uh, game. So before, you know, this starts, uh, like, restarting over and over, um, let's actually uh, continue here. So, um, this is how the game actually presents itself. Um, <clears throat> we have um, the text here and we can advance it by either... Well, actually the game tells us to um, move the mouse in a clockwise fashion, which I'm doing right now, in order to progress in the story, right? So this is like... Um, you know, the next part of information that we are presented here, I'd seen men die violently before. Indeed, I had killed a few myself in the Matabele War, but this cold-blooded indoor business was different. So let's um, uh, clockwise move the mouse again. I needed to think. And whenever you encounter this, um, uh, yeah, this yellow diamond shape kind of thing, or this rectangle, you can only advance if you uh, press the left mouse button. You can, if you uh, move the mouse counterclockwise, I hope this works, you can go back, but uh, once you have, um, and also then you can go forward by clicking the left mouse button, like so, but once you go past this part of the game, there's no way for you to go back. So, um, yeah, and th this is basically, so the, the game, or the, the, yeah, le I'm gonna call it a game, or the interactive novel, basically, is sticking very close to the um, literary uh, uh, original. Meaning that uh, this is basically a novel being read to you or being presented to you, I should rather say, in a very like you know fa like um, uh, cinematic fashion. I compared this like the first um, the first association that I made was uh, an audiobook. You know, if this is like an adaptation, you know, onto like a different medium. Um, same way, uh, you know, that would work with a, for example, like an audiobook. Um, this is sort of uh, what what uh, what that is, uh, you know, transported onto a computer screen. Um, so you know, in this case, we have uh, we found this this guy. He has given us some information. He's an American. He has been on the run from a certain group of people that we yet are unfamiliar with. But he is the carrier of a huge secret that uh, you know is sort of able to determine like the fate of the world basically we're on the brink of world war one here and um this guy has confided in us and now he's dead so um you know this is not giving away too much again because the story has been told times and times again um and uh also because this is actually just marks the exposition of the whole story this is sort of like the uh, where this stuff gets going because I have to be honest uh, up to the up you know until this point up to this point the story has been sort of yeah not that captivating really but this is um, this is really changing you know starting in in chapter four so but you know let me um, like exemplify what I mean so um, this is basically um, again just text that is being presented to you but in a different fashion so you can actually click through all the um, the um, items here so wh what are we gonna do now this guy has been killed so um, there's the body <clears throat> and we clicked on that so clicking left clicking again will bring us back to this menu and this is actually the next point so uh, you know we're uh, pondering upon whether or not um, we, we should talk to the police but they would not believe us um, you know so we can go back actually what we can also do is move like um, click and hold the left mouse button and move 
uh, clockwise, so um, you know that will advance us to the to the next item, a pointless endeavor. Yeah, we don't really know anybody in England, so this is our situation here. If you want, you can read this. Uh, you actually should, but again, I'm not going to read this for you, so it's probably best, you know, if you you do that for yourself. Um, right, and uh, sort of like um, yeah, so this uh, Carolitis uh, character here is is a major player in this story. He's a major figure, and basically, he needs to. Um, arrive in London and the plan of the of the bad guys of the um, uh, um, uh, the uh, yeah the uh, cons uh, conspirers basically is to kill have him killed in London so you know it is not possible for us to um, to warn the officials because him not arriving in London will have an equally bad outcome as him being killed so he has to come here resolve the the issue of the Balkans I think that that is sort of like the uh, geopolitical background, and then go back to Greece. Um, right, so let's actually uh, forward this. Right. And um, so this Scudder character is actually the American dead. Um, I talked about earlier, he's been killed now in our place. Although um, we actually, uh, yeah, like totally hid his identity and uh, that didn't do much. And actually faked his, he faked his own death. So this is the first uh, part again. So once we've read all this, we can click on done here, and that will, you know, propel the story. Um, right. There's a pocketbook involved. So this is part of like, the, this is like, yeah, you know, this is like a precedent of um, of like all like men on the run things. So you know, you have your obvious like the like a pocketbook or like a similar like source of information that contains the big secret you know that will actually lead to the uh, resolve of the whole story or so I think I haven't read the book I haven't watched the Alfred Hitchcock movie or any other adaptation uh, filmic adaptation for that matter so uh, I don't really know what's going on I can just infer you know from what I know about this type of genre uh, what will be happening here uh, down here you see two actually now filled um, yellow diamonds uh, those are not filled out when you first uh, play through the scene. So uh, that indicates basically that here in this um, in this scene, there's two locations hidden, uh, which we have to find and um, you know click on to gather more information. One of which is um, is this dresser here, and it's actually pretty easy to figure out because they give away like they give them themselves away by like this faint yellowish glow that you can see here. This is not really, like, gameplay wise, this is not too, um, you know, uh, mind boggling here. So, you know, and you can see, okay, smoking room, desk. So there's two things here on this desk, I think, um, that we can, you know, look at. There's like a metal here, and then there's some photos. I am not really sure what they are, but we can zoom in. And having done that, we'll you know, this would have like filled in this uh, this diamond here, and then the papers or the letter here um, would have filled the second. And we can actually, you know, zoom in and try to read it for ourselves. This is actually pretty useful or interesting. It's not really useful, but interesting because um, the game designers managed to sort of, uh, you know, uh, I don't know if they got a hold of like original newspapers, for example, from like 1914. But um, um, you you like stumble across newspapers from that era, and you know it's it's like great fun to to like take a look at those newspapers, see the the ads in there, see, read all the articles and stuff like that. If you're not a huge fan and you just want to know what's going on in the story here, then you uh, have the ability to have the text shown to you, where you can basically read like the. Um, uh, the uh, important information, you know, that uh, need to be trans transported to you. Okay, uh, let's actually head back here uh, and check out the um, the corpse here. So yeah, this is like pretty standard. This is actually as as much gameplay as you can get here. So you now can search the corpse. There's like a pocket knife in here and some change. It uh, doesn't really matter. Um, Nothing in the waistcoat pocket. Um, 
Yeah, the knife you can actually you you would take the knife if you did this for the first time, and then um, the the jacket's pocket here. There is um, this Carolitis character again, this um, the Greek premier, and we can have you know this uh, this text being displayed to us. Uh, okay, so we move back, and now we are done because we can see everything is filled out. So we have discovered everything there is to discover. <clears throat> and then click forward here. So this is basically like the the meat on the bones of this kind of stuff. And it appears, I'm not really sure, that I have not yet discovered everything in this room. Um, but, you know, oh no, this is, no, no, this is just, okay, this is just the indicator where we are in the story, okay, sorry. Right, so we're, you know, making plans now to, um, to vanish here and um, yeah so this game like I said you know clings very 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 um, close to like the format of a novel in in which it is not really interactive uh, I mean it is interactive in that you can you know read or like um, you know progress the story at your own pace for example but there's like no as you might you know, uh, be familiar with from those, uh, for example, games from Japan, like the interactive novels, uh, where you can actually, um, you know, branch off into like multiple endings and stuff like that. This is not possible here. There's like the the literary, the literary or original, uh, that is the, the novel by uh, John Buchan, and, and that's that, you know. So you basically uh, re experience like the, the the story in a different way and and you know that's what this is um, and well I have to say they actually did a pretty decent job like I said the um, the um, the story or, or like the, the like the beginning is sort of it's kind of like lukewarm because you get a lot of background information there's not a lot going on and um, the format doesn't really uh, benefit from from you know like you being told like the backstory of the whole thing let's just open this book here real quick okay uh, so our plan now is to uh, go off because we're trapped in London we're like you know from like the south the Cape Colony South Africa so his um, Veldcraft as he calls it I think this is a uh, second like Afrikaans word for like I don't know like the um, aptitude to survive in the wilderness or something like that um, yeah but you know will be beneficial to him so um, you know it's like we're hatching the plan of going to Scotland I think partially also because our family uh, hails from from Scotland okay Galloway are uh, okay right and again, you know, you see like this this material here. So basically, you're being told the story in a sort of like a like in a more interesting or more engaging way. But basically, it sticks very close to the original in that you know there's not a lot like variation going on. So this is what you do. You basically click yourself through the story, you know, by various means. And you know the um, the presentation is actually pretty nice. What I really like uh, about this is the um, the audio uh, like the scenario that that come up with like you know there's like a lot of like the door clicking now there's like rain in the streets you hear a lot of background noises and stuff like that you know, like the overall package really um, you know makes you be like in the whole thing like experience the whole story on a different level which is pretty cool actually uh, I really I really like that um, okay so we're waking up we slept for like two hours here you know, rethinking our plan, but, uh, you know, at last we will pull through here. Um, right, getting some gear out of the, uh, the closet. Toothbrush, do, do not forget the toothbrush. 50 pounds, okay. Uh, yeah, Rhodesia, actually. So, uh, nowadays, uh, Botswana, I think it is, right? Not exactly sure on my, uh, pre- World War One geography or like colonial British history. So and again, you know, we're like uh, we are asked to click on the um, illuminated object here just to propel the story, 
Yeah, and this also sometimes done, we have to, I think, shave a beard here. So, uh, you know, if you click and move the mouse in the fashion like indicated on the screen, uh, we will actually shave a beard or mustache. Mustache. Right, the next step. All right, Paddock is our, is our servant, actually. So, okay, the milkman. So we're gonna use the milkman to uh, make an exit because we are being watched currently, I think, by, you know, those people involved in this conspiracy. Uh, yeah, we breakfasted off a whiskey and soda. This is the story of my life. And some biscuits. Seriously. Although I have to say there's not a lot of dialogue in this sp specific part of the game. Um, but, um, you know, usually there's like a little more of things being spoken here. Uh, okay, we got a pipe there. And yeah, we're gonna get some tobacco. Oh, look what's in here. The pocketbook. It's a nice coincidence. With all the uh, notes. Yeah, it seemed like a good omen. Oh, it seemed a good omen. See, I'm not even reading this properly. <coughs> Alright, let's uh, examine Scudder for the last time, I think. Goodbye, old chap. I've got to do my best for you. Wish me well. Wherever you are. Yeah, so this would be like an example of the dialogue, you know. Uh, okay. We're waiting for the milkman now. And of course, he's late. Hmm. Alright, so, um, and this marks the end of chapter 4, so now we would have to start with chapter uh, 5, which is called a third class citizen. So, um, yeah, so basically, you know, for uh, all intents and purposes, you know, this is the 39 steps in a nutshell. So you've experienced sort of what the game is like. Uh, I think this exemplifies, you know, all the aspects of the game very well. There is a certain, there are certain, uh, there are flashbacks also in the story. This you couldn't see here, uh, where you played like a little movie with like a little like cutout cardboard sort of figures that, you know, give you like the information that you need, and then you're uh, you realize that there's a um, there's a um, uh, like a flashback or something being. Um, being played out to you. Let me just start the third class citizen here because of the music, which is sort of loud. Um, but I'm not gonna like. Oh, I can't skip this. See, this is what the the symbol says here. Um, right. So uh, yeah, would I recommend it? I mean, the thing is, um, at first I was sort of disappointed because there's not because um, I wasn't really aware of you know what's going on here this is strictly like an interactive novel with the stress on the novel part you know this is basically what I already emphasized in the beginning um, this is not so much a game because there's there's nothing really game like in here there's not I mean if you count like those uh, move the mouse in a certain fashion to uh, you know progress in the story that's as much gameplay as you'll get with this uh, with the 39 steps other than that it's just a story being told oh, me. Come in here a moment. I want a word with you. Y yes, sir? oh the milkman arrives yeah I'm giving actually giving away like unwillingly because there's nothing I can do okay here I'm gonna stop um, so um, this is it, you know. This is like as as close or like as close an adaptation of a, uh, a novel, you know, as you, you can get. Like, um, you know, in it's like gameplay wise, game mechanics wise, because there's nothing else. Like you are presented what's happening in the novel on a screen. Um, if you're cool with that, if you're looking for this kind of stuff, you know, this is an interesting experiment. Um, either if you're a fan of the original material or if you have nothing to do whatsoever b with novels, you know, 
or uh, the story of the 39 steps you're looking for like an innovative way it is pretty compelling actually it, it, it it's fun because um, the audio is pretty good the backgrounds are okay you progress or progress at your own pace so um, it's very nicely done you know but you know bear in mind that um, at its very core it's just a novel it's just a story in which you click yourself forward um, and this is sort of you know this sort of like didn't really meet with my expectations because I thought, okay, there must be like something uh, going on. Also, like the travel motif here is pretty strong. I just saw the um, the uh, you can get this game on Just Adventure. I think I'll post everything in the description as always. But I saw the original, um, um, uh, yeah, it's like the teaser and the screenshots, and it reminded me a lot of uh, The Last Express. I think it's called by uh, Brotherhood Software. It's like an excellent game. Also sort of like an espionage thriller or uh, think of uh, for example um, uh, the case of the Cautious Condor if, you, if you've played that one. You know which is sort of like in that vein you know it's also like uh, yeah well the graphics are different here but uh, it is an espionage thriller set on the brink of a world war so you know it's kinda like that but it's nothing like that gameplay wise. Um, so that was like was what misled me maybe, um, but if you're if you're aware of that and if you're just looking for a you know an interesting way an interesting adaptation of a novel you know and you either like either you spend I don't know some money on like an audiobook version or like an audio play version of this novel um, or the game or the uh, like a copy of the Hitchcock movie for example you know it's sort of like in that category so. Um, and for that it's pretty well done like so far you see I, I've played three hours here uh, you know uh, the story actually starting with chapter four you know gets going uh, captivates you and it's really interesting although you know the motifs are pretty clear the theme you've seen before or actually you've seen you know s like spin-offs off this off the theme of the man on the run but you know uh, yeah, chronologically speaking You've probably seen other stuff, you know, rather than the original, which which is this one. So, um, yeah, if you're aware of that, if you're looking for like an interesting uh, narrative experience, I would recommend this for you. It's uh, I think goes for like close to fifteen dollars on Just v Adventure. If e if either you think this is too expensive for like an interesting experiment, or you're looking for something of a like gameplay, like an, a true interactive. Um, experience then this will disappoint you you know because this is nothing more like I said than a narrative being told to you in an interesting fashion um, yeah as always all the descriptions uh, uh, all the links and everything is gonna be in the description uh, hope you like this video found this informative you know I'm always happy for feedback and um, yeah please stay tuned I'm gonna be pretty slow the next couple of uh, weeks probably with videos but you know nevertheless Stay tuned and check out. Um, I will post, you know, times a day. It's like eventually I will post, start posting regularly again. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching and uh, goodbye.